Good evening. I've also uh, done the black thing, because it works, doesn't it? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Some people are magnets to weirdos, and I think I might be one of them. A magnet, that is. <laughs> well, one of them. <laughs> I uh, used to live in Melbourne and um, I was going into the city to see some live music and this chick stops me, asks me whether I, whether I want to buy some marijuana and I'm like, mm, no, I can't afford it. So she just gives me some. And then she wastes valuable dealing time by offering me financial counselling <laughs> like, and career counselling. She says that there's this place around the corner that I could strip at. So I considered my extensive eczema <laughs> and I thought, yeah, this could work. I'll just get me a sexy burger. So this isn't the first time I think I might look like a drug addict. I thought I looked more like a lawn bowler. Um, this other time, I'm still in Melbourne and I'm in um, Chinatown. This little Vietnamese fella runs up and he says, Are you Jason? I said, Mate, I'm a girl. <laughs> this is my friend Mark. I don't know any Jason, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, chasing. <laughs> you want heroin? I said, No, do I look like I might need heroin? <laughs> must be the chubbiest junkie in Australia. <laughs> Most people would be offended, but I was quite chuffed. <laughs> There's this other time, I'm in Fitzroy on Vic, um, Brunswick Street, up near the Commission Flats. Walking along... Right. Brunswick Street. <laughs> Minding my own business, and this fella sort of bumps into me and he goes, Oi, you want to make some money? Good money, 50 bucks. I'm like, oh, What do I have to do? <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, little packages, dark alleyways, and he says, Have a screw? With you. <laughs> I said, All right, mate, come on, let's go. <laughs> so that's how I got the fare back to Mullumbimby. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I'm on the pension. <laughs> so the fare was free. <laughs> I spent the 50 on heroin. <laughs> so, um, everyone's heard the term 24-7 before, right? There wouldn't be anyone here that doesn't know what it means. My grandma, she's what? been around for 99 years, it's going to be 100 this year in October, and um, I don't think she's heard of it. <laughs> she, uh, she lives in Noosa, in a retirement village, and in Noosa because she likes the shopping. The family, <laughs> the family doesn't get up there much, so mum's on the phone, you got a fridge leak, Gran. So she suggests that she get a repairman because it's cheap up and how fucking long does it need to run for anyway? <laughs> Grandma's like, oh no, no, no. I was on the retirement village bus, this is how she talks. And um, I went past that place and it's not open till the 24th of July. <laughs> I kid you not. home after Christmas, just before New Year, because I pretended I had something to do, <laughs> and um, there's the new fridge. <laughs> take mum's advice. So um, it's hard when you're new in town to have to, to make new friends. I've been living um, temporarily with mum now for about seven years. <laughs> and um, she... Um, 
I, I don't have any of my own friends. I, I, I hang out with her mates. They're all over 70. <laughs> <laughs> and we need coffee and cake. <laughs> and it doesn't matter how hard I work out, cake weighs more than muscle. <laughs> If I didn't already have a mental illness, I will have soon, because Mum, she talks to everyone in the house with the same tone and by the same name. We're all dull. She says she knows our names, but everyone's dull. And um, there's only me and two dogs. Constant like look out. Is it me she's talking to? I hear, come on, Dal, your favourite show's on. <laughs> Not you, Dal, little Joey Dal. <laughs> you get outside. 